Hey everyone, this is Germ, and this is another college pro tips video. Um, in case you're new to the series, this is where I give out tips for people just going into college, maybe going to their first year, second year of college from someone who is, yeah, I wasn't the most amazing student ever, but I did pretty well in college, like the whole college experience as a whole. Um, I had a pretty good time and did pretty well in, so if anything I've learned can help anyone else, then I am more than happy to share it, and uh, as always, if you have any questions you'd like me to answer, throw them into the comments of the video, and I will do my best to answer them in an upcoming video. Now, uh, today what I want to talk about is your professor. At this point, you've met all of your professors, obviously, unless you've skipped your first month of classes, and uh, you've been to probably three, four weeks of classes, so you've started to get a feel for them. And just like in high school, you may have decided that some of them are pretty awesome, and some of them kind of suck in a major way. And what I want you to do today is try to reevaluate your professors. Don't think of them the same way you thought of your high school teachers, because um, that's not really what their, their job is. It's really a lot different. And what do I mean by that? Well, what I mean is, you know, a teacher, any teacher, teacher, professor, high school, university, middle school, elementary school, whatever, uh, they, they most likely went into it because they like teaching and they like sharing knowledge with people. Um, I haven't really met anyone who went into teaching because they loved all the money they were going to make because it's not really the type of profession you're going to make a ton of money in unless you write books or s stuff like that. But just the job itself, you're probably not going to make a ton of money. So chances are they are there because they actually enjoy teaching, whether they got burned out after a couple years or not. Um, when they started, just keep in mind, they probably had pretty pure motivation, so give them the benefit of the doubt whenever, uh, regardless whether they're a high school teacher, college professor, uh, anything like that. Now, in college, way more than in high school, professors want to help you succeed. Well, what do I mean by that? What I mean is, in high school, the teacher's job, one of their primary jobs, as sad as it is, and I'm referring to public high schools primarily, but it is true in a lot of private ones too, uh, their job is to get you to graduate, to get you to pass the class, to get you to learn the minimum required to get through and get out so they can get the next crop of students in. And it's not necessarily their fault, it's just how the system works. Um, and if they've got a pretty good crop of students, they can teach them a lot. If they've got a really crappy crop of students, and I'm sure most of you have been in a class or two like that, um, then there's not necessarily a whole lot they can do. They just have to try to get everyone up to the same minimum passing bar, and it's kind of unfortunate because then you don't learn a ton. But in college, it's a little bit different. Uh, because in college, once the college has your money, uh, it's up to you whether or not you want to succeed. You know, they don't have to hold your hand. I've said this numerous times before, but high school is set up for you to succeed, to get you through. Uh, college is not. College is set up so that people who want to learn, who want to make something of themselves can. And uh, if you just want to go and goof off and party and screw around for four years, well, the college will happily take your money and let you do that. I mean, they're, they're a business. It's not, it doesn't make them evil. Again, this is up to you whether or not you want to succeed. So if you go into college with the mindset of, hey, I'm here to get everything I can get. I want to learn everything I can possibly learn. Um, I want to come out on the other side of this completely prepared or as prepared as I possibly can be to go into my life as an adult and get a career then your professors will probably love to help you. Every single professor I had in school, except for one or two that were kind of special cases, uh, they had that mentality. If you were willing to put in the extra work, if you were willing uh, to give it your all, if you were willing to just be responsible and mature about your schoolwork, they would love to help you. Uh, because they can see you as more of a colleague. It's not like in high school where the teachers teaching everyone who are minors, so they, they have to kind of watch how they talk to them and how they treat them and everything like that uh, because they're, they're children, and they should. I mean, they, the teacher's job is very important. Uh, they've got a lot of very important jobs, but one very important thing is they're spending a lot of time with their students every day, and uh, it's kind of their responsibility, at least in my opinion, and I think a lot of people would agree. It's their responsibility to nurture the students and to you know make sure they're building their self-esteem and everything. Well, once you get into college, like I said, it's kind of a business at that point. Uh, the professor, I'm sure they're there to teach, but if you, you want to just joke around and not take everything seriously, they can tell you just to get out. I mean, we're all adults at this point, so or at least you're the age of being an adult. If you don't want to be an adult, uh, I'm sorry, I guess that'll be a video for another day, but you're all adults at this point, so... Uh, the teacher, they can kind of, or the, sorry, the professor, they can treat you a little bit differently. Um, I remember I was in community college, actually, for two years. I did dual enrollment my last two years of high school so that I could uh, 
chop off one year of college. That's why I only had to go for three years. And I do highly recommend that if your high school will let you do that. But I was at a local community college, and I was in a math class. It was pre-calculus. And there was a girl in there who, I think she was like, she was in her early 20s. And she just was joking around all the time, talking to the, the two guys she sat next to, and just kind of flirting and goofing off. And it looked like she was doing pretty much the same stuff she did in high school. Um, which might have worked well for her in high school, but about the third week of class, uh, my, the math teacher just stopped what she was doing in the middle of class one day, slammed her calculator on the desk, and told that girl to get out and never come back. And um, I was kind of shocked at the moment because I was only, I think, 16 then. But uh, looking back, I was pretty impressed. Um, just that you know, the teacher really had the attitude of, look, if you, or, I'm sorry, the professor. I keep calling them teachers. No, when I when I say teacher, referring to college, I do mean professor. Um, but I liked the professor had the attitude of, hey, we're here to learn. You don't want to learn. Get out of my classroom. Um, and I really liked that. and I respected the teacher a lot more. Same thing in college. Once I met some of the other professors and got to know them a little bit better, uh, I really was able to kind of have like a colleague relationship with them. Not that I knew a tenth or a hundredth of the things they, they know. I'm not trying to say that. But it was more like two adults could have a conversation about a subject matter they were both interested in. And it wasn't like... Uh, a professor standing at the front of the classroom just lecturing everybody and treating you like an idiot. Um, some professors in first year classes had a little bit of that mentality because they got stuck with a lot of the general education stuff and so they didn't necessarily have people who were paying attention but as it went on it got better and better and better. So here's my advice for you. Don't treat your professor like your teachers in high school. Uh, they're not the enemy. I don't know if you did treat your teachers like that but hopefully you didn't and hopefully your teachers didn't deserve to be treated like that. If they did I'm, I'm sorry. but. Treat the professor like they're actually there to help you succeed, because chances are that is the case. Uh, treat them like a colleague. Not that you know anything close to what they know, but treat them uh, like an equal who deserves your respect, and uh, they will likely treat you the same way. I mean, that means in class time, they're not your equal in the sense that they are in charge. I'm not trying to infer anything by saying that, but uh, they're, they're your equal in the sense that legally, once you're an adult, you guys are on equal footing in a lot of the ways you interact with the world. So treat them like someone who's actually there to help you get ahead. And if you treat them like that, uh, if, they're, if they're very aware of the fact that you want to learn, you want everything they've got, I promise you, all the good professors, and most of them are pretty good, they will bend over backwards to help you, to make sure you're getting everything you need, to talk with you after class. At least that was my experience. If that's not your experience, then you need to be looking for other classes. Did I get a crummy professor every once in a while? Sure. I mean, it happens to everyone. But if you go to ratemyprofessor.com, uh, you talk to the people who maybe have gone to that class before you, who are living in your dorm, things like that, or people who are taking those types of classes so they kind of know the teachers and professors in that department. Uh, just talk around. Find out who the good ones are. Go for the good ones. And good can mean difficult. Um, I am a graphic designer, in case you didn't know. And that meant I had to take a couple typography classes. Well, the typography professor I ended up studying under, he was a pretty tough guy. He would rip your your uh, design piece apart in front of people if he didn't think it was very good. And at first it was very intimidating, but what I came to realize over time was he expected a certain level of excellence. And if you would give it to him, or at least if he could tell that you were really trying to give him uh, an excellent job, even if it wasn't what he would do, if it was... If it was excellent for you, if you put your all into it, he would respect that and he would help you get better. And by the end of uh, my time at college, my roommate and I, who was also a graphic design student, we had, like had dinner at this guy's house. We went over and helped him with yard work. We hung out some. Like when I went to visit the college about a year after I graduated, I went and nice. sat in on his classes just because I liked seeing him and everything like that. And that's not the type of experience you would likely have in high school. So, just to recap. Treat your professors like someone who wants to help you succeed, because now that you're both technically considered adults most likely, unless you're very young going into college, then you're on equal footing in most other things in the world, and if you are willing to put in the work, then almost every single time that professor will be interested in helping you succeed. Uh, remember, they probably got into this because they liked teaching, not because they planned on making tons of money, so treat them as someone who actually wants to do the job they're there to do and uh, act like you're there to do the thing you signed up to do, which is to be a student and learn. College is an awesome experience, uh, but most of it, it, you'll get out what you put into it. So guys, if you have any more questions, just leave them in the comments. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.